Hello and welcome. My name is Sam. I'm the creator here at House Plus Plant. Follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. Um, I am going to show you my Synapsis collection today. Now, I have a few different varieties. Some of them are really struggling right now, and I will get into that later, but I'm just gonna go through and just show you the ones that I have, um, give you my basic care, and then we will go into the ones that are struggling and why. I decided I'm gonna go in order of just like most common to least common. So the first one I'm gonna start with is Syndapsis pictus argyreus, and I need to grab it. <laughs> So here is mine, the Syndapsis pictus argyreus. At least I think that's how you say it. That's how I pronounce it. So I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, this one has small leaves. It is um, about five feet or so from an east window. So it's really not getting much light, but it is in a bright sunroom. And I have chopped this thing back probably 10 times. I've taken cuttings from it. And you can see there's new growth pretty much on every single vine. I'm just gonna see if I can show you one. So like if you look here, there's some new growth because I cut down here. Um, I also put some cakey paste on a few of the nodes that were bare um, to see if that would help. Um, it's just like a growth hormone that helps promote the growth um, of whatever you put it on. So basically if I put it on a node, it will produce a new branch, which is basically what's happening right here. So if you guys are interested in that, I will um, link it down below. You can go check it out. It does work. It works especially well on vining plants. Uh, but here's an example of where I took a cutting right here, and then it is now growing back right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, so this one I've had for a very long time. Like I said, um, it does have some blemishes, some leaves that don't look too great. Um, but overall, it's been pretty good, I would say. So... This is the Syndapsis pictus argyreus. Next, we have my Syndapsis trubii moonlight. So this one you can see has the really shiny, um, kind of seafoam green leaves. They're really pretty. It has one long vine that wants to keep going. Thankfully, it does have little leaves on it. A lot of times they'll just push out the runners with no leaves. So this one is getting leaves down lower too, which is fun. So this one has been doing really well. This one sits in a west window, and um, for all of these, I let them go completely dry before I water, which is proving to be a little bit of a problem for me right now, and I will get to that. Um, but in general, I let them go almost all the way dry before I water. And this one, I don't always have good luck with this type, with the Trubii, um, but this one has been doing pretty good. I will say it does have some blemish leaves as well. Right here, a lot of times I deal with um, brown markings on this one. So, um, I don't know. I've just been trying to do a better job of not watering this one too frequently. I feel like it's a little bit more prone to root rot, as is all of these are, honestly. So, yes, yeah, so this is that one, and it's good. It's doing well. Next up, we have the Syndapsis. Pictus exotica and you can see this is one that I said was slightly struggling because of my watering habits I have it bottom watering right now because it was so dried out and you can tell with all of these synapses If they go too dry their leaves will start to curl just like this um, And depending on the severity the roots can be damaged beyond repair um, and then the roots will just die and then you have a not very happy plant on your hands so, I mean, in general, if they get curly like this and you give them a really good soak, they should pop back up and get flat again in a, like a week or so. Um, but if they do not recover within a week after deep watering and soaking for a little bit, then you might have a bigger problem on your hands and you might want to get in there and check the roots. But this is the Exotica. You can tell because the leaves are, get much larger and they just have more silver on them versus the... Argyreus, you can see side by side, the leaf size is completely different. And the silver markings are also more like spotted on the Argyreus versus the Exotica. They're more just kind of like all over. I know it's hard to tell because the leaves are so curled, um, but that's how I tell the difference. Just 
based, I mean, I can really tell just from leaf size. So in general, these leaves get much bigger, much faster. So this is the Exotica. Then we have the Syndapsis Pictus Silvery Ann, which is now on Lake because I underwatered it and it got damaged roots. And then when I did water, the roots started to rot. And so it is in Lake now trying to recover. You can see it still has the curled leaves, but some of them have perked back up. Um, the way I can tell that this is the Silvery Ann and not the Argyreus is because a lot of the silver is concentrated towards the ends, which again, it might be hard for me to show you because it's so curled, but see how a lot of the silver is more towards the bottom. Even on these bigger leaves, it's more towards the bottom, like how the bottom tip is like almost completely silver. And that just doesn't happen at all on the Argyreus. So that's how I tell the difference between these. And on some leaves, it's more obvious than others. Um, I was gonna try and find you a really good one. I would say this is a really good one for that. Like see how much silver is down here. So this is the Silvery Ann. And they're so pretty. I'm really mad at myself that I let it get to this point, but hopefully it will make a recovery. This is another one that's pretty sad. These were cuttings that were gifted to me by a follower, which I'm so thankful for. Um, again, let them go too dry. And there is new growth, which is a good sign, um, but these leaves are super curled. I did just water it again, so hopefully within a week or so they'll go flat again. Um, but this is the Syndapsis Pictus, or not even maybe Pictus, just the Syndapsis Silver Splash. So. Again, this one is also kind of hard to tell the difference between this and the Exotica. Let me see if I can get you a better, a better view. But if you look at them side by side, it's much easier to see the difference in the leaves. Like if you look at these really, really close, it's almost like a watercolor painting where you see different colors, different depths of the silver. Whereas with the Exotica, a, the leaves are, are bigger, um, but if you look really close at the Exotica leaves, I hope you can tell the difference. It's just more of a flat silver versus it being like different levels of silver. I hope that makes sense. I hope you can tell. Um, okay, so that was the Silver Splash. Um, then we have, this is my newest Syndapsis. This is the Silver Hero, I believe, um, and this one is all silver. So. Um, it's just like a very seafoam green, super, super, super splashed. It does have some of the darker, which you can kind of tell, but overall the leaves are completely the silver of the, basically like if you took the Exotica and had the leaves only be silver, that's what, that's what these are. So also just a lighter green in general, but it does have some of like, you can tell there's some of the like actual silver markings on there, but they're just such a pretty color. I love this one. This one is much harder to find. Um, so if you do see it locally, I would grab it because they're just not around much. Um, but these are really, really pretty too. Then we have the Syndapsis. This one's kind of funny right now because of how it's grow like growth pattern, but this is the Syndapsis Trubii, the nearly black. So it has very, very, very dark, um, shiny leaves. And these are really cool too. These are also pretty rare. So again, if you see these, grab one. Um, but the new growth is even dark. They're so pretty. I love this one. I'm not sure why it's growing straight up. It is under grow lights, so that's probably why. Um, the leaves are just growing up to the grow lights, but I love this one so much. I cannot wait for it to continue to grow out. This is all the new growth. Um, and then I actually curled one of the vines around and stuck it in the soil so that it can kind of get more growth going right here. These two oldest leaves are starting to die off right now, um, which is okay. Uh, and yeah, it's doing good. And last but not least in my collection, this is the Syndapsis Jade Satin, I think. Um, so just very solid green leaves um, and very pretty. More leaf size of the Exotica just without the silver splash. So they're really pretty and some of them get pretty dark in here. It's kind of hard to tell. They're kind of curled too. I watered this one about mm, a few days ago, so it's looking better, but they're just also kind of like a matte color. Like they're not shiny in any way and um, they're just really pretty. As the leaves get more mature, they get darker like this one down in here. Um, these are all the newer leaves. So this is also a really fun one. It's starting to trail too. Um, so I'm excited to see this one grow out, but yeah. 
Okay, so the problems that I run into, the biggest one with synapsis is just the watering. As far as light, they can do pretty good in a west window, an east window, um, back a bit from a south window. Those are all okay placements for them. The biggest thing is just the watering, and I have just found that if I over, if I water them too frequently, then they get brown spots and start to rot. If I obviously err on the side of underwatering but wait too long, then they also get too curled and they can't recover. So just kind of watch them. When you start to see them curl, give them a really good soak. Um, I even let them sit in water for like, I don't know, 20 minutes or so to make sure that the soil is not hydrophobic and that it will actually soak into the center of the root ball. Um, so I do that, and then I use Foliage Pro 936 on all of my plants, but these also just love it. Um, so I use that every time I water. And what else? That's it. I have also been using the Bug Hut Biologicals. I just started that though after I started to see some of these struggling, so hopefully that kind of helps them perk back up too. I will link all that stuff down below. But yeah, that's it. If you guys would like me to do more of these types of videos where I go into the different types of plants that I have that are in the same family, let me know. I think it's really fun to see all different types in one video, and so you can add them to your wish list if you want any. Um, let me know in the comments, and yes, for sure let me know if there's any that I should look into. I would love to get some more. Um, other than that, make sure you guys subscribe. Go follow me over on Instagram too. I do daily question and answer in my stories. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.